piece, Israel. Uh, I wanted to sign on real quick and do a short piece on the word truth and its importance. But before we actually deal with the word truth, uh, we normally start our lessons with uh, the definition of truth according to the Most High anyway in the book of remembrance. Uh, and that is Psalms 119, 142. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and thy law is the truth. So, with that said, uh, this piece is on truth. So we know good and well the law is truth, and the law is righteousness. We also know that the law is forever you should be able to see the parallel between the law and the Most High. The Most High, He is forever. The Most High speaks truth and upright, and He's upright. And the Most High is righteous. Hence, the law is a direct representation of Him. One thing about truth, okay, Truth is the one thing in the earth that can occupy the three spaces of time. Uh, I feel that's important, and you may not have given this any thought. But truth can occupy the three spaces of time simultaneously and not be changed one iota. An example of that would be the past, the present, and the future. Truth can occupy these three spaces and not be changed. Now, what's amazing about that is that the Most High Yah, He too, occupies those three spaces and He does not change and has not changed. So, the reality of the matter is as we focus on the word truth, truth is righteousness, but righteousness is also of the most high. Truth is forever. It doesn't change. You cannot change your truth. You change truth, then you have the possession of a lie. Now, occupying those three spaces of time. Here's an example of that. Truth is recorded within the earth. Truth has always been here. Why? Because the Most High has always been here. Truth lasts forever. Why? Because the Most High lasts forever. So there's a reason why he hates liars. Because to lie would be walking contrary to who he is and what he's about. Now, if, let's say, I killed a man, <clears throat> say two weeks ago, and investigators asked me, did I kill such and such? Now, the Most High and the earth as a whole has already recorded that I've done this act, even if no one saw it. The truth is, I've already done it. And the earth has recorded it, and so has the Most High. So that's the past, if I did this thing two weeks ago, okay? So now, here I am two weeks later, from the past and the present, I'm asked the same question. <clears throat> the investigator would ask me, did you kill such and such two weeks ago? Now, in order for me to tell a lie, it has to be fabricated. It has to be created. It has to be new. It has to be something that's not of the past. So, if... Had I not done this, <clears throat> had I not killed the individual, two weeks ago it's recorded that I didn't kill him. This is already established. So when the investigator asked me, did I kill him, I can tell him plainly, no, I did not. So that truth is established in the past that I didn't do it. It established in the future that I didn't do it. And should they continue the investigation, if the investigation completes or is completed in six months, then I will be vindicated that yes, he didn't do it. 
So that will be the three spaces of time where the truth will stand firm. However, in the case of a lie, a lie cannot occupy those three spaces at the same time. A lie must be created. It must be fabricated. And I find that to be amazing because the Most High said clearly before him there was no God formed, neither shall there be after him. So we know he is truth and he is righteousness and he is forever. So therefore, when he says this, if it is true, it cannot be changed. It's going to occupy the space of time in all three facets in the past, in the present, and in the future. And anyone that's going to speak contrary to what he has said is going to have to create something. Just like if I killed that man two weeks ago, if I did do it and you asked me today, did I do it? And I want to lie, I have to create that lie today. It has to be created on the spot. It has to be fabricated. It is completely new. It is new to what really did took place. And hence that makes it a lie. So when the Most High says clearly there was no God formed after him and there was none before him, that speaks to his truth. So anyone that's speaking contrary to that, what they had to do, they had to fabricate that. It had to be created. For someone to come up with a new God. Because his truth has been recorded from the beginning of time. Okay, the Most High has always been here. He is encompassing of both truth and righteousness. So truth is not new. Righteousness is not new. It has always been. So whatever truth there is. That truth has always existed. If I didn't kill that man, that truth has already existed. It already has. Okay? So, anything contrary to the truth has to be an addition. It has to be created. It has to be fabricated. And what that fabrication will be, it will be something that is contrary to to what took place in the past because a lie cannot occupy cannot occupy those three spaces in time within the earth and that's why it's so important when you hear me start with these lessons thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness and thy law is the truth the truth is the most high's law the most high is righteousness and he is truth Truth does not change at all. Truth is established in the earth from the beginning because he is truth. Truth cannot be fabricated. It already is. And that's why there can be no God before him or after him because he has already been here. And he is the truth. And anything other than the truth has to be fabricated. Because only the truth can occupy three spaces of time within the earth, both present, past, and future. And that is why the Most High Yah, the Creator, the only Savior of the House of Israel, can occupy those three spaces simultaneously. And that is why he makes clear to us that he does not change in Malachi 3.6. He cannot change if he is truth, because truth cannot change. Truth will, and I say again, truth will occupy those three spaces of time within the earth. It is the only thing that can do this. And therefore, the Most High, once again, has established the fact that his counsel shall stand. And the only counsel that's going to stand is the truth. The only counsel that shall stand is righteousness, and that is his law. Peace, Israel.